And unlike them, I'm an IFBB pro, which means I actually know what the fuck I'm talking about. They don't. Warning! You're watching Dr. Todd Lee TV, where theoretically you could learn a bunch of cool shit. All right, party people. We're going to get started on this very controversial topic. So, do I need to have my blood drained? Bleeding and modern ignorance. Phlebotomy is the practice of bleeding a patient. This was done in primitive times because of modern medical ignorance. Many bodybuilders got this done because they are told by their inept doctors this is important. This belief is based on the wrong patient population. Old people with a ton of risk factors can have heart attacks and strokes. Thus, thick blood is a problem. The solution would be phlebotomy. However, phlebotomy drives up EPO, erythropoietin, which thus causes the bone marrow to produce more red blood cells. This is based on the article, Blood Donation and Testosterone Replacement Therapy, Benjamin Shin et al. Now, on from another article, Testosterone Therapy and Secondary Erythrocytosis, a meta-analysis, that despite the use of phlebotomy, the evidence for secondary polycythemia causing harm during testosterone therapy is scarce, and the hematocrit cutoffs presented in multiple guidelines appear to be arbitrary. What that means is when your doctor says your values are too high, we're going to have you donate blood. It's not based off of science. It's based off of fear. The point at which the guideline is set is just made up. It has no science to back it up that the bodybuilders or HRT patients who use testosterone therapy and have thick blood have had no real statistical evidence to suggest that they are at risk for anything. And thus, it's just made up. It's because old people with thick blood who also have clogged arteries and also have septal defects and also have this and also have that tend to have strokes and having thromboembolisms in that population is common. Now, a lot of you are thinking a lot of bodybuilders were having thromboembolic events in 2021. Yeah, because there was a drug that was forced on the whole world released in 2021 that causes these thrombotic events. To assume that it's based off the testosterone when it was all athletes from high school soccer players of every athlete was dropping dead. So this is something that you might wanna consider. If you're a bodybuilder, you need your blood to carry oxygen when you lift. That's what red blood cells do. Some people don't know that, that they don't know that red blood cells are your oxygen carrying capacity. So giving away red blood cells is like changing the oxygen level of the air. Cowards will pull your HRT if you go over the cutoff points. Whereas more sophisticated doctors like me have tools to lower these values, such as non-kosher anabolics, which are friendlier than testosterone. So what are these cutoffs? So these arbitrary cutoffs, as per the 2022 article I already mentioned, the conclusion is these people don't know what the fuck they're talking about and there's no evidence this needs to be done. And that what these cutoffs are is 54 and 18.5 for hematocrit and hemoglobin respectively. So if you're over 54, they just stop giving you HRT and then make you drain, drain your blood. And then you make more red blood cells anyway. And I don't know about you, but my blood's expensive. I put a lot of money into my blood. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Fusion Regenerative Therapies, where I am the Director of Human Performance. This is the practice in which I practice medicine. I uh, will be able to order you blood work and read your blood work and help you with therapy as needed based upon the results of your blood work. Please click the link to get a consult with me and I can help you optimize your performance. Thank you. So it's like you're just pissing money away. Also, if you do not have a CPAP, that's something really important because if you're not oxygenating properly, your body makes more red blood cells to carry more oxygen because you don't get enough oxygen coming in. Having sleep apnea is kind of like living in Denver. And so you adjust by producing more red blood cells. Think about how stupid that would be if some athlete went to Denver to be the best athlete they could possibly be. And then they gave the blood away and then 
de defeated the entire fucking purpose of moving to Denver. So for those of us who can't afford to go to Denver, we don't need to because we are readier on HRT or testosterone from anabolics and bodybuilding cycles. So we already have thicker blood. So we already get the advantage of superhuman endurance. You've heard that EQ makes horses win races. That's why it's called EQ is equipoise. Equine is horses. So boldenone is the name of the real compound. It's given to horses so the street name is EQ or equipoise so that horses win races. How do they win the races? They have more oxygen carrying capacity in their blood. What is, what, 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 what? EQ drives up red blood cell production. That's what it's for. And it's like, people are like, why are you so bitter? I'm not mad at you. I'm irritated how fucking often I have to try to explain to people that's nonsense. They gave leeching pa patients is something we should have stopped a hundred years ago. But there's no reason to be using leeches on patients. It's not like someone's got a fever. We should leech them. They're still doing it and they're doing it to you. And you guys are falling for it because of their white coats. They don't say anything smart. They're like, I don't really like these values. We're going to take your blood and flush it on the toilet. Okay, you're the doctor, so you must know what you're talking about because of the white coat. If they were wearing a tank top and you saw how shitty they look, then you'd be like, I don't know if I want to take health advice from this fat fuck. There's a lot of conspiracy theories that are completely fucking true, and this is going to be perceived as one of them. I know I've repeated myself several times, and again, third time's a charm. I'm repeating myself because you need it to sink into your head. And most people don't absorb information the first time they hear it. They have to hear it three times. So I'm saying it three times right now for that reason. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, there is a full length version available. If you didn't like it, you're in our word. This is just the summary, just the tip, if you will. This is the tip of the iceberg of knowledge that I have bestowed upon you. Please accept and absorb the rest of this iceberg. Now, a lot of people are selling this stuff. They are selling courses on the material. This is free. You don't have to pay if you click the link. It's not a funnel that you're not going to get duped into giving your credit card or your email. You just get to watch the video. If you like the video, watch the whole series, watch it in order, the how to grow. There's numbers for a reason. Hopefully you completed preschool and you can count. So you watch them in order for a reason. That's why they're filmed in that reason, in that order, because they go from most important to least important. And as you suspected, the PED videos at the end, I guarantee you the answer to your problems is not more steroids. It's better lifting. If it's missing, it's probably because you're watching a censorship platform. Switch to one of the uncensored platforms to see the PED video. I believe it's video five and I believe it's video 10 are not in the censored platform. So you are in a censored environment if you're missing those. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to get a consult by clicking the link in the description box.